Hey guys, today I'm working on the electric starter. The starter is only held on by a couple of screws. And here are the internal gears. Uh, they look to be working fine. There's oil residue around here, so I might have to buy a rebuild kit for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart clean it up with a rag and air duster and then hook it up to the battery and test to make sure it's actually working so stay tuned for the process I bought a battery tender and it came with these clip-ons so I'm going to use these to attach to the ends of the battery uh, you'll notice here that the black line actually goes to the positive because of the way I'm connecting it so I'm going to ground the red clip and here we go. I'm only getting sparks, so let's give it a couple of taps. Okay, tapping it worked. The top can be lifted up like this. It looks dirty and grimy so I'll clean all that up and now the whole piece can come out like this all of this looks fine the inside doesn't look bad either I definitely need some new seals or else oil will leak in here alright I'm just gonna wipe all of this down I'm using 400 grit sandpaper to clean it up a bit and especially these brushes right here, uh, they were pretty dirty. Okay, let's give it one last try. Alright, with the electric motor attached back on, let's turn on the bike. I thought it might be this right here. So I gave it my mechanic tap. This by the way is the voltage regulator and it works fine. If some of you are trying to find the rectifier, it's the orange thing right under the seat here. Well guys, I'm gonna hold off on the rebuild kit for now until I figure this out. But on to the next project, I bought some spray paint cans to touch up all of the scratches and rust. So I'll show that process in the next video. See you later. The bike is making some rattling sounds. I think a screw fell into the pipes.